the most important thing whenever you want to do a show or travel to do your job is you got to be ready. Well, it's my first time here actually in India and uh, having the chance and uh, the opportunity of being riding in front of the monument, it was an honor, like being there, riding for the people. The first jump is actually the most difficult thing. If you clear the first jump, great. You release the pressure and you have fun. amazing all the, the people here are really nice so I'm really enjoying this time this is Toby the world's fastest balloon popping dog try, try, try. it's official you can look him up watch fast right now Let's watch on the OnePlus 6T in super slow motion. Good boy, Toby. This is Peter, the world's fastest jump roper, on one foot. It's official. You can look him up. Watch. Fast, right? Now, let's watch on the OnePlus 6T in super slow motion. Not bad, Peter. Sometimes we forget the significance of a number that taught us about how we exist, reminds us of the marvels we've created and the impact that we can make. A number that is repeated all around us, shaping where we all come from. It's not just a number, it's an icon of perfection and beauty that has always inspired the extraordinary. This time, it's our turn. Here's our seven. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the launch of OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 7 Pro. The show will begin soon. We'd like to request those of you not seated to please take your seats. We'd also like to request those of you carrying mobile phones to please ensure that you switch your instruments off or turn them to the silent mode for the duration of the event. Before we begin the show, we have a few important announcements. In case of any emergency, we request you to please take the nearest exit as displayed on the screen. Once the event is over, the media needs to follow the sign to make way to the experience zone. Community members need to follow the sign to make way to the experience zone as shown on the screen. All, all those who have availed for shuttle services, please note the departure schedule up now on the screen. Once again, thank you for joining us here this evening. This show will be starting soon. Please turn your phones onto the silent mode.
Good evening, everyone. Wow. What a huge crowd we have here. We have a lot of exciting things to share tonight. It's really great to be here in Bengaluru. It's where the OnePlus... Thank you. Bengaluru is where the OnePlus story first began. When we first launched the OnePlus One, we didn't plan to launch in India, but we had tons of interest from here, so we decided to come down and see for ourselves what it was all about. Our friend Varun from Phone Arena helped us host a community meetup at the Matteo Cafe close to Brigade Road. We had quite a crowd show up, and to my surprise, most people there, they already had the phone. We couldn't believe it. The support and enthusiasm that we experienced that night later on became pivotal to our decision to launch in India. And the rest, as they say, is history. Ever since that first meetup, our Bengaluru community has been asking for a phone launch event here. Well, tonight it's finally happening, and it's the biggest... And it's our biggest launch event ever, so welcome. First of all, I have some great news to share. Last week, we got to know that the OnePlus 6T is once again the number one selling premium smartphone in Q1 of 2019. And last year, in Q2, Q3, and Q4, OnePlus was the number one choice for high-end smartphones in the country. So for anyone who wanted to buy a high-end smartphone, we were the number one choice. Next, let's talk about retail. The OnePlus retail experience has been critical to our success here. We opened our Bengaluru Experience Store two years ago on Brigade Road. It's one of the busiest commercial areas in Bengaluru. Just a stone's throw away from that first community event that we had at the Matteo Cafe. Today, that experience store has become a landmark, attracting visitors from all over the country as well as becoming the heart for our local community with pop-ups and other special events. Here, we also opened our Delhi and Chennai experience stores. In addition, we also opened six new authorized stores and launched our products in 122 Chroma stores along with 350 Reliance Digital stores. So at the beginning of last year, our products were available in 108 locations in the country. And we ended last year more than quadrupling our availability. So our team really did a good job last year. We spent a lot of time and effort into perfecting every detail in our products. But it isn't until people get to touch and feel the devices that they really understand the quality difference that we bring to the table. So our experience stores are not just great venues where users can fully experience our products and learn more from the OnePlus staff. They're also great places for after-sales service in a relaxing and comfortable environment. This year, we're gonna open three new experience stores. First of all, we're upgrading our existing store in Villa Parle, Mumbai, to make way for a new, bigger, and better experience store. Following Mumbai, we'll be opening our first ever experience store in Pune. And the best part about these two stores is that you can visit them starting tomorrow already. In addition, you can also experience some of the new products we're about to announce over there. In Hyderabad, you like that?
Thank you. All right, we, we, got, we got phones to launch tonight. In Hyderabad, we're gonna build the biggest OnePlus store in the world. It's a six-story structure with more than 16,000 square feet of space. And as we all know, Hyderabad is a city with a rich history, but also a booming tech and IT sector. Hyderabad is a bridge between the old and the new, and we really wanted to bring this aspect into the store design. The design has two layers. The outer layer is a clean white finish, representing the modern Hyderabad. It's got a nano material that can withstand dust and maintain its clear white look as the years roll on. The red brick inner wall represents the more raw, more traditional Hyderabad. And our favorite part about this door design is how it makes use of natural light. So as the day progresses and the position of the sun changes, the store will light up differently, dynamically changing as the day goes by. So I'm sure it's gonna be a treat when you visit. So those were our retail updates. And now, for the reason why you guys are here, we're launching new products. Tonight, we're gonna be launching not one, not two, but three new products. And the first one is an upgrade to one of our most popular products. Do you know what it is? I'd like to invite my colleague, Tillen, up on stage to show you more. Thank you, Carl. How to control your world of sound? Well, the answer was here since 1914, when the first earbuds were patented by Nelson C. Durant. They were wired and clunky, and <laughs> you could not listen to the music with them. Little did Nelson know that in 2019, we have something that has almost no wires. It connects via Bluetooth 5.0, enables Google Assistant with voice activation. Best of all, wait, best of all, it allows you to thump your chest when you get the right beat at the right time. Just like this. Bullets wireless too. Bullets wireless too. Bullets wireless too. But, but you cannot enjoy thumping your chest or getting the chills if the earbuds are causing pain to your ears. And that's why we made sure that no matter where you are and what activity you're engaged in, your Bullets Wireless 2 will fit perfectly into your ears. And if that's not good enough for you, and if that's not good enough for you, let me offer you another pearl of information. We actually went out and tested the fit of Bullets Wireless 2 with 205 users and asked them to try the fit for 1,600 times. And 98.5% of them said, the fit is stable, the fit is smooth, the fit is satisfactory over prolonged listening periods. It's perfect for getting the chills. But wait, the biggest improvements are coming from the inside of Bullets Wireless 2. What we did from the engineering perspective, <laughs> wow. Let me just put it this way. With Bullets Wireless 1, we were Backstreet Boys with I Want It That Way. With Bullets Wireless 2, we are Queen with Bohemian Rhapsody. And this... And this is exactly what this diagram shows, pure Bohemian Rhapsody. And I did not forget about the drivers inside your Bullets Wireless 2. No, 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 no. The balanced twin armature driver will this time make treble even more pronounced with its mids to highs, while the dynamic driver will make bass incredibly low. So while you're receiving high notes via treble in an ear-piercing fashion, the low notes in the bass will make your whole body vibrate. It's the perfect listening experience, whether you're listening to music, whether you're listening to podcasts, or simply just chatting with your better half over a phone call. As for the aptX HD support, let me tell you. Yep, 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 yep. 
it lowers that background noise and it helps you to capture the tiniest details in the music performance and the sound. <laughs> the sound is so realistic, it's hard to distinguish it from the actual sound performed by a live musician. It's the best tool to help you isolate yourself from external distractions. But you may ask, how long can the Rhapsody last for, right? Well, I can tell you that the Bullets Wireless 2 are compatible with Warp Charge. And on the full, and on the full charge, you get 14 hours of audio playback time. And that is true. I could also tell you that we managed to engineer 10 minutes of, of Warp Charge for five hours of audio playback time. Wait, but that's just not true. Because you see, if you use your warp charge to charge your bullets wireless 2 for 10 minutes, you get 10 hours of audio playback time. Let me put it into perspective for you. If you're anything like me, that translates to binge listening to Bon Jovi's It's My Life on the loop for 134 times. If you're anything like Carl, that translates to binge listening to Drake started from the bottom for 112 times on the loop. And if you're anything, anything at all like Shimon, that means that you and Arijit Singh will make a true connection by listening to his Chana Merea on the loop for 125 times. So folks, here you have it, Bullets Wireless 2. Now, I'm going to show you our wonderful product video. Thank you, Tillem, for that awesome performance. Now, I'm here to announce a very special product. This product represents a breakthrough and a step change for OnePlus. This is a very important moment for us. We started OnePlus because we weren't satisfied with the smartphones on the market and we thought that we could do better. We wanted to challenge the industry. But it hasn't always been a smooth ride. I still remember this story from the OnePlus One days with the CE logo. We felt the CE logo was too big, too thick, and it just didn't look good enough. So I told one of our designers to redesign it, make it smaller, make it look more elegant. It actually looks quite nice. But later on, when we imported the, these devices into Europe, they got blocked, and we had to rework them. So it turns out you shouldn't be redesigning regulatory icons. See, but the idea was right. We saw something that wasn't perfect in the world, and we tried our best to change it. It's just that in the beginning, we weren't that experienced, so it didn't always work. Over the last couple of years, we've still held true to our never settle ideals. But we've taken a more pragmatic approach. With our heads still in the clouds, but our feet this time on the ground, we improved our products and grew our people one step at a time. See, I'm really grateful to the OnePlus community for sticking with us through all these ups and downs. Our success is also your success. Although today we have more than six million people globally in our community, we still had people who believed in us when we didn't even have a product, when all we had to our names was a dream and the ambition to never settle. We have a special section here tonight for all the community members who've been with us for more than five years. So please stand up and say hi to everyone. Hey guys, thanks for your support. And for the rest of you who haven't been with us just that long, here's a quick recap of our five-year journey.
our community are our biggest supporters, but also our biggest critics. They keep on challenging, challenging us to become better and better and better. And we heard you. We heard you not just today, but in fact, every single day over the past couple of years. It's just that we weren't quite ready back then, but today we're ready. We're ready to no longer just challenge the industry, but to challenge ourselves to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be and to share a truly breakthrough product with the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the OnePlus 7 Pro. So what do you think, guys? It looks much better on this big screen than in the WhatsApp groups, right? So the OnePlus 7 Pro is a milestone in the history of OnePlus. A lot of time and effort has been put into this all-new design. It's got curved edges on the front and back, and it's unlike any OnePlus phone we've ever seen before. We worked hard on getting every single detail just right. It rests comfortably in the hand, and it's truly a phone that's designed to be held. Our team worked on a hundred different prototypes, each with a slight variation in curvature, before finally finding something that we liked. The OnePlus 7 Pro comes in nebula blue, mirror gray, and almond. The mirror gray is stealthy with a beautiful shine. The almond has a soft elegance to it. My personal favorite is the nebula blue. It's got a unique feel, and if I didn't tell you, you probably couldn't have guessed it's still made out of glass. It's got tons of tiny cuts beneath the surface, and what these do is that they diffuse the reflected light, giving off a mysterious yet calming linear gleam. So when you're outdoors, the phone will dynamically react to its surroundings. This is probably the most beautiful OnePlus we've ever made. It's something you, thank you. It's something you really have to feel to believe. Next, our favorite part about the OnePlus 7 Pro, the display. The display is the primary window into the digital world. So with the OnePlus 7 Pro, we decided to include the best possible display. Every few years, groundbreaking new technology comes along that redefines people's expectations. At OnePlus, we've always pursued a fast and smooth technology experience. So now, we're going to announce the next major breakthrough in mobile display technologies. Fluid AMOLED. It's borderless, it's totally immersive, ultra smooth, and breathtaking. It's got no hole, no notch, no gimmicks. It's just pure screen. And it's our largest ever at 6.7 inches. With a, thank you. With a remarkable screen to body ratio of 93%. For the first time ever, we're offering a Quad HD Plus resolution panel. 
it packs 4.5 million pixels into its edge-to-edge -edge display. It has a pixel density of 516, meaning that you won't be able to see any individual pixels even on its larger display. It's also accurate enough for the most demanding users. And how do we know? Well, for one, it got the highest possible score on DisplayMate. DisplayMate is the industry standard when it comes to benchmarking displays. They provide tests to optimize, calibrate, and also improve color reproduction of all types of monitors and display panels. The OnePlus 7 Pro scored exceptionally well from every parameter, from maximum brightness to screen uniformity to contrast. That means when you're viewing any content on your OnePlus 7 Pro, you can be sure it's as beautiful as it can be. So it's got a really immersive screen, great color accuracy, but what else? With the Fluid AMOLED, we're for the first time introducing the groundbreaking new 90 hertz refresh rate. What does this mean? Well, regular phones update their content up to 60 times per second. We do 90. So for any content that you experience, you get up to 50% smoother compared to other phones. So each and every tap, swipe, and scroll feels more direct, more responsive, and more realistic. Nowadays, I often just take out my phone and open up Instagram and scroll up and down just for the fun of it, just to experience the smoothness. No, I'm serious. Explaining 90 hertz is like trying to explain what falling in, lo falling in love feels like. It's impossible to explain if you haven't experienced it. But once you do, you realize it's probably one of the best feelings in the world. Am I right? Just like our fluid AMOLED display. So go try it for yourself and fall in love. On the subject of details and nuance, we've added a beautiful new horizon light. So when the screen is off and you receive a notification, you'll see rays of light trace the outer edges of our curved display. And to maintain a comfortable viewing experience, Fluid AMOLED also filters out blue light, thereby reducing your eye strain. It also supports HDR. So when you're viewing content on Netflix or YouTube, you'll notice richer details and more nuance in every scene. Speaking about HDR content, we recently partnered up with uh, Netflix. So now I'd like to invite our partner, Jerome from Netflix, to tell you more about this. Thank you, Carl. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. So great to be here, such energy. I'm Jerome, I work for Netflix, I work in the partner marketing team, and uh, thanks to our friends from OnePlus for inviting us, we're super excited to be here. So, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about this partnership between Netflix and OnePlus. And to do that, I would like to go back a little bit in time when we launched Netflix in India. 2016, it's not, you know, that long ago, and we were keen to understand the love that people have for movies and series in India, but more importantly, we wanted to understand how people watch Netflix. How do they enjoy watching Netflix? And what was clear from the beginning is that mobile device is the best way to watch Netflix, at least the preferred way. We see that because people, when they go to work in the morning, we see the level of uh, streaming going up. When they go back from work, the level of streaming go up again. So people actually use it on their commute, going back from work. So from the beginning, we wanted to make sure that we brought innovation to the mobile viewing experience. And you know, bringing you through some of those innovation, we, we started with download. So basically, you can download content on your device, pretty straightforward, and you can watch it when you don't have a connection. And then we optimized that with smart download. So basically, imagine you watch a show like Stranger Things, 
and you watch one episode, and then you go offline, or you turn off the app, and when you, you turn on the app again, we've in the background downloaded the next episode, so that I, and you don't have to download it yourself. So we've done the work for you. And then we got a lot of feedback, people telling us, you know, I find a lot of content on, on Netflix that I love, but there is no way for me to share it with my friends. So we didn't have any tools to actually help people uh, in social media share that love that they have for the shows. So recently we enabled the functionality that um, lets you share the key art of selection there, for instance, um, on Instagram stories. So you can let your friends know, I love this show, you should watch it. So you see the relevance of watching Netflix on mobile is what brings us here today and why we're so excited of this partnership between Netflix and OnePlus. Netflix now screening on OnePlus. We are super excited about this partnership. And, you know, Carl mentioned HDR, um, you know, basically high dynamic range. And the, the, the OnePlus 7 Pro is HDR certified. So meaning that Netflix subscriber can watch content in HDR. Basically what it means is that you have finer shades between lighter and darker colors. Therefore objects have more depth, making them more real. Basically making your viewing experience on your mobile just so much better. So we know we have that, those incredible stories that you have on Netflix and this incredible screen with OnePlus. And that creates an amazing experience. Let's take a look at how it can come to life. That was pretty amazing. We are very excited about all this. So you know we have, we have a lot of shows on Netflix that people have loved in India. You can see here last stories, Mowgli, Ghoul, Little Things, you know, Roma, you may have heard about Bird Box, Stranger Things, but there's one show that people loved and that we love so much. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you heard about Sacred Games? <laughs> so that show has been amazing. Um, and when we started this partnership, we started thinking, what can we do between our two brands to create something special for our communities, our people, our consumers. And that's what we've done. So those, those two shots, actually, we've released them because we've announced um, that we will be launching soon Sacred Game Season 2. And those two pictures have been shot on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And you see the, the quality of the photography the quality of the creative, this is stunning. And, you know, the reaction in social media has been amazing and really tremendous for, bo for both brands. And it tells us two things. The expectation for the launch of Sacred Game Season 2 is, is, you know, beyond our expectations. And the expectation with the launch of this phone is beyond, I think, many of us' expectations. So we are looking forward to Netflix and OnePress coming together and giving you guys an amazing experience. Um, and to talk more about this stunning camera that produced those shots, let me introduce Simon to talk more about this. Thank you, Zoran. 
Hey guys, good evening. Great to be home in Bangalore. Okay, just like Jerome mentioned, I'm here to walk you guys through camera, so let's start from the front-facing one. Where is it, you might ask? And don't worry, we have not forgotten. Just one tap, and it's there for you in half a second. I agree with you guys, it's very cool, but primarily it has to be useful and durable. And I know whenever there are motorized parts, our community is worried about how long will it last. So we have put a lot of effort into development of this, this camera. And in the end, we've performed the test. This test is about opening camera of one phone up and down 300,000 times. So if you're keeping notes, um, then there is crazy stats for you guys. So if you would open this camera 50 times every day to take a selfie, it would, it would last very well for 16 and a half years. And you don't need to believe me, we have this on video. Unfortunately, YouTube has 12 hours long limit. So you can head up to our YouTube channel and see it for 12 hours opening and closing. Opening and closing. But how many times would open and close is just one concern of our community. I heard that you guys would be also concerned about how durable will it be. Will it not be too brittle or too fragile? So we have performed other tests. Yeah, this camera module really is built to last and our engineers thought of everything. So if imagine the scenario you're taking selfie and your phone accidentally drops, camera will slide right back automatically detecting the fall. I think it's very nifty too, yeah. But it's not only durable and smart, but it also is able to produce some great photos thanks to the 16 megapixel sensor. I would say over the years we've received so many great photos from you guys. Our community sent us photos from over 140 countries. I think they are really marvelous. But still, very often when I speak with you guys, I hear that, you know, Shimon, my OnePlus is really exceeding ex expectations. But when it comes to camera, it's like, okay, it's good. It's not great. So with OnePlus 7 Pro, we decided to change it. We're introducing for the first time ever, triple camera setup. So with the super wide angle lens, wide angle lens, and telephoto lens for that zoom, this is a seriously vertical camera setup. This perfect DSLR replacement. And let's jump right into the main camera sensor. <laughs> yeah, 48 megapixel, plenty of details. But also what matters a lot for you guys is low light. So we've increased surface area of the sensor to half an inch, so by 29%. And effective pixel size has been increased by 72%, so that the sensor can get way more light than on, let's say, OnePlus 60. Also, we have completely changed our lens. Right now, we have added one more element to the lens for a 7P lens setup. And by that, we've been able to achieve aperture of focal 1.6. You guys know your stuff. It's additional 15% of light into the sensor. And then we have not forgotten about optical image stabilization, of course. 
it's really important when it comes to those low light photos where you need more time to get more light into the sensor. And it's also obviously great for those ultra smooth videos. These are some of the photos we have shot on OnePlus 7 Pro. Take a look at the details, color reproduction, shades and shadows, HDR, I think really good job. But that all would not be possible without... And then we have another lens. Now we have, for the first time ever, introducing a wide-angle lens with OnePlus phone. It has PDAF focusing method for the fastest focusing, and primarily it expands field of view to 117 degrees. And then, anyone here using OnePlus 5? Yeah, we still have some. And OnePlus 5 was the only OnePlus phone with a telephoto lens. And I heard from many of our users of later flagships that they are missing on this experience. So we are bringing telephoto lens to OnePlus flagship phones. And this one is even better than the one on OnePlus 5. It has 3x optical zoom and optical image stabilization. So with this setup of wide angle, normal, and telephoto lens. We have a really seriously versatile camera that is like a camera bag, but can fit into your pocket. But this all wouldn't be possible without proper focusing. So we have changed our focusing method to three-prone focusing. So our camera will detect the scenario and automatically switch between PDAF, CAF, and laser autofocus. But this is, of course, all just a tech talk. So I think we should hear from a credible source, from a person that has spent years outdoors photographing nature. I would like to invite on stage Andy Badon, photographer of National Geographic. So in the world of photography, there's a saying that goes, show me, don't tell me. It means that a single picture, one picture, can amount to thousands of words. When I got the call to shoot this assignment, I just smiled. I knew that I would take this phone, this camera, to wild places, some of my favorite places, and really push it to its limits. So I took it to the frozen mountains, through windy sand dunes, on the side of a sheer cliff, and by the salty spray of the ocean. I wanted to really treat this camera like a professional tool, really push it, and take it with me on some authentic adventures. And to my delight, this thing held up like a champ. The battery life lasted all day long while I shot many images, and the user interface was super intuitive to navigate. I literally just opened the box, took the camera out, the phone, started shooting photos. I was simply free to create. I'm normally carrying tons of gear in my backpack on my assignments, and it was such a pleasure to just go really, really light. Unencumbered by the gear, I was just in my element, and spontaneous, and that's the best way you can make photographs, is just to move quickly, be intuitive, and get the shot. I love the wide-angle lens on this camera. Just absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it allowed me to get really, really close to the action and shoot the scenes that I was looking at with zero distortion. The raw files that came out of this camera have latitude. The highlights have shadows, or, or the highlights retain detail, the shadows retain detail. It just gives you flexibility. And while the digital world, the world we all live in, uh, you know, that's how we share these images now. You now have a tool 
that you can print physical art. All the prints outside that you saw and what you'll see later on, all made on this device. And it's amazing to have this tool in our pocket that we can literally just make physical art whenever you feel inspired. So what does this mean for you? Well, it just became easier to be creative. And by doing it on this mobile device, it's easy to share it with your friends, share it with the world. The raw files, like I said, they're so forgiving. You can make adjustments easily without compressing the file, crushing the data. And there's full manual control. You now get to shoot a scene exactly the way you envision it. It's amazing. The combination of the ultra-wide zoom, normal lens, and the 3x zoom allow you to shoot an incredible amount of subjects with one simple tool. There's macro shots, portraits, landscapes, action, you name it, the new OnePlus 7 Pro has you covered. Well, you got to see firsthand what the new OnePlus 7 Pro camera can do. I can't wait to see what you choose to create. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andy. I think very beautiful photos. And as much as feedback from Andy and other photographer means for us, I know that to convince you guys how good this camera is, it's not enough. So we have sent our camera to the most profound, independent and professional source of benchmarking for image quality, DxO Mark. And guess what? This is by far the highest score we have ever received from DxO. It's 13 points higher than what we got through OnePlus 60. And thank you. This means a lot for us, and I think especially that over the past 12 months we have seen so many great cameras, so many great mobile phones that has been benchmarked for us, and seeing how we position among them makes us really, really happy and proud of our team. Thank you. Okay, with OnePlus 6 we have introduced Google Lens in our camera app. There was this icon here on the bottom level. And we really liked it, and we heard from you guys that you like it too. Uh, and I think the coolest thing was that you can access it so quickly right from the camera application. So we have taken one more step, and right now you don't even need this icon, just long press on any object in viewfinder, and you will search for what you see. I think what's even cooler is that for some objects, like for example, phone number or QR code, you don't even need to long press, it will just detect it automatically for you. Okay, let's move on to performance. Uh, yeah, I hear you guys. I, I don't think I need to mention anymore that performance has been a, be has been a highlight for, for OnePlus devices ever since OnePlus One, and it wouldn't have been possible without cooperation with Qualcomm. So thank you very much, Qualcomm, for it. And obviously, <laughs> obviously we're bringing Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 to our latest flagship device. And Qualcomm really stepped up the game this time. They have moved to seven nanometer processing, which is, which is a really huge breakthrough. I think a couple of years ago, it would, it would sound really bonkers that this would be possible. So with those eight cryo cores, now Qualcomm Snapdragon is 45% faster than Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. It is also 20% more power efficient than the previous generation. And of course it comes paired up with Adreno 640, which is 20% more powerful and 30% more power efficient. And I really mean it when I say that we have left no stone unturned this time when it comes to performance. So we have increased RAM in our top variant to 12 gigabytes. Yeah. 
I think with this much RAM, you never need to worry about multitasking and switching between apps. But also, we're providing you guys with so much RAM, we have to do something special with software. So we're bringing the RAM Boost. With RAM Boost, the heaviest of apps will load out of RAM memory instead of ROM memory, because RAM is a much faster type of memory. And by that, it will reduce loading times. So instead of looking at that loading time, loading screen of the game, you'll just be able to play your favorite games. And then I'm really proud to announce... <laughs> exactly, OnePlus 7 Pro is the first phone in the world to ship with UFS 3.0 memory. UFS 3.0 memory will allow you to read and write files and data faster on OnePlus 7 Pro. In fact, 79% faster than UFS 2.1 memory time. And then we have also totally changed our cooling system on OnePlus 7 Pro, introducing liquid cooling. It will help you manage temperature of device much better for those long gaming sessions, as well as will maintain better battery life of the device. And speaking of battery, we are rising from 3,700 to 4,000 milliamp hours. This is easily over a day battery, battery capacity, but just in, the, in case you finally need to top up, of course we are ringing warp charge. First time we have introduced warp charge with McLaren 60, OnePlus 60 McLaren edition, and it's 38% faster than the regular OnePlus 60. And then, speaking of charging times, in 20 minutes, from zero to 48%. So back in the days, we have um, changed user habits with days power in half an hour, and this time we are elevating this experience, topping up this almost 2,000 milliamp hours in just 20 minutes. And then next feature is something we have re had requests for a lot, like really a lot. So Carl told you all about this new crispy 2K screen, so we decided to pair it up with some stereo dual speakers. And we really don't half ass it either. It's a pair of serious quality stereo dual speakers, and we even tied up with Dolby for the Dolby Atmos. So with the Dolby Atmos support, you'll have this three-dimensional experience that you deserve. And then, finally, we have also changed our vibrating motor. We are introducing X-axis vibrating motor with richer multi-level experience and variable strength and intensity. It, you'll really feel it when you receive a notification or type something on your keyboard or play games. So I'm not really a gamer, but we have someone with us that is. So I would like to introduce on stage Sam from Fnatic, global leader in esports. Fnatic just bounced off. What a fantastic performance from Fnatic. We've come a long way. From basements, dorm rooms, and shared PCs. We've been told grow up, stop wasting our time. From lands at a friend's house to packed out stadiums. The world of esports is growing. But if we click, sign in, and follow, our team, our family grows. And with every new member, our call grows louder. We're taking the game to the next level together. Get ready for better, better specs, better experiences, better gaming. Together we will supercharge your gaming experience. And never settle. Fanatic One Plus. Hey everyone. So amazing to be here to see launch of this incredible phone. This crowd is full of thousands of people. And where I come from, the world of esports, we're filling stadiums like this on a weekly basis, all across the planet. 
with tens of millions of people filling, watching online. So when I started Fnatic 15 years ago, we really started to drive esports forward. We've been in over 28 different titles. We've won $13 million in prize money. That makes us the most successful esports team in history. But since day one, we believed the growth of esports was inevitable. Internet speeds were going to get faster, games were going to get better, and ultimately, the evolution of devices was going to make you able to play video games anywhere and anytime. And that's why the partnership with OnePlus was such an incredible pleasure of ours, because for the first time ever, we can work with OnePlus to help drive innovation in the fastest growing area of esports, mobile phones. As you know, there's over 100 million mobile gamers in India alone. Now, esports demands the best performance, and mobile has brought esports to an even bigger audience than ever before. Collaborating with OnePlus over the last year has really allowed us to hear the passion they have for driving that performance, to really get this to be the best possible gaming device. You know, we've worked tirelessly to improve that performance that you all know and love. So let's kind of recap some of the features that you've already seen which are amazing for gamers. First up, Snapdragon 855 and 640 Andrino GPU. That's going to drive that FPS and even your favorite game. And my favorite feature, every gamer loves this, a 90 hertz screen is so important for that fast-paced game, gameplay. The 12 gigs of RAM with RAM boost, 10 layer liquid cooling system, a dual speakers with 3D sound. This is seriously an incredible gaming device. No more excuses to lose a PUBG. <laughs> Everybody can compare specs though. For us, it's really the experience that matters. OnePlus has already been working tirelessly to improve their gaming mode, doing things like optimizing CPU, GPU, RAM, and the display to get the phone better than ever before whilst in that deep gaming session. But being fanatic, we wanted to take things to the extreme. We wanted to drive every last bit of performance out of that phone. And that's why together with OnePlus, we've created Fnatic Mode. <laughs> Fnatic Mode takes your phone into the ultimate gaming device in three main ways. First, aggressive CPU focus. That means all the cores of the CPU are focused on gameplay, eradicating all the other activities. Second, no gamer like slag. I can't give you a good internet connection, but OnePlus removes all the background minimal interference from any network interference of background apps, reducing lag. And of course, nobody wants to be interrupted on the way to a chicken dinner. So we've impl implemented advanced DND feature, or do not disturb, to radically block everything in the background, notifications and phone, to make this the ultimate gaming device. So we're super excited to say we've worked hard with OnePlus on this, but for us, this is just the beginning. We're going to be working to create a better gaming experience to OnePlus users around the world. And we're super excited to announce today that we're going to be bringing Fnatic to India. And we're going to be joining the esports scene here in the near future. <laughs> Thanks for having me. But one final thing, make sure you look out for the Fnatic Easter egg. The first person to find it, tweet at OnePlus India, and you'll win yourself a OnePlus 7 Pro. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Sam. Thank you for our cooperation so far. Looking forward for more in the future. All right, so Sam, walk you through first feature of software feature of Oxygen OS on OnePlus 7 or 7 Pro. So let me tell you some more about what we have prepared. But first, let's have things straight. Oxygen OS. And these are not just my words. This is reader's choice of PC Mag. So once again, we finish above all the variants of Android and iOS. And truly, we believe that we owe you to you guys, our community. Our forums is a place where product managers and engineers and designers go on daily basis looking for feedback, 
validating some features or talking about direction in the future. And this is really the most valuable source of information from product people. So thank you very much, guys. You guys know that when we make Oxygen OS, we are not making features for keynotes. We are making features for our community. And I think for us, what matters a lot is optimizing those experiences that only OEMs can do, not competing with third-party app developers because you have whole Play Store for it and you can go and download any app. That's why what we want to do is optimize those details. So let me give you a first example. We've optimized our navigation gestures. So we've reduced a time from first touch to animation start from 90 milliseconds to 70 milliseconds for a more smoother, more intuitive experience with navigation gestures. And as a second example, we have also changed how our scrolling, how scrolling feels on OnePlus 7, 7 Pro. So first, our engineers develop a special app for scrolling animation where they can change parameters and they were adjusting those variables for as long as they felt the animation is right. So by right, I mean animation that feels natural, like a kicked football or like a rolled rock. And this is the kind of dedication we need from our team to be able to provide you with this fast and smooth experience that we have promised. And then I know that you guys care about more than just details of Oxygen OS. You guys care about, Oxygen, about Android as well. So we were one of the first to bring Android Pie. It was with OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 60. And I'm very proud that already a week ago, we have developed first Android Q developers preview <laughs> and already shipped it to OnePlus 6s and OnePlus 60s. All right. Let's, and also, obviously, we are continuing our commitment to two years of Android version updates and three years of security patches. Okay, let's move on to some of the new features, what we have prepared for you guys this time. We got lots of feedback from you guys about that one. So we are bringing screen recorder na natively to Oxygen OS. If you download any app from Google Play Store, you cannot record um, screen together with internal audio. So that's why we wanted to bring this for you guys. It's easily accessible from quick toggles. So it's perfect for recalling the, that gameplay. And also, it's good for tutorials. So explaining to your uncle how to set that custom ringtone is no longer a problem. And in fact, we care about more than your uncle's custom ringtone. So we have developed one more feature that we call Zen Mode. And we feel that we are using our devices a little bit too much, and they are becoming a very important part of our lives, but they shouldn't be crutch uh, for us. So that's why with Zen Mode, you will be disconnected from your device for a short 20 minutes. And during this 20 minutes, you'll be able to do only three things. Receive calls, make emergency calls, and take a photo just in case something spectacular happens. So we really believe that technology should serve you, not the other way around, and that innovation should improve lives, not take away time of it. And then at the end, something very special. So we think that, I think you guys know that India is our favorite region. So yeah. So it only makes sense that our first batch of region-specific localized features we will ship here in India. So. Already next month in Open Beta Build, you will be able to test new features that will improve your work-life balance or help you to travel or revamp your SMS experience. Also, some of the features like cricket scores that we have worked on together with ESPN will come to you this month to make sure we make it before World Cup starts. 
I think what's the most important it is that all those features have been developed in our newly established R&D center in Hyderabad. And they all come from feedback from our India community. So thank you very much, guys, once again. All right, we've been saying this all day. OnePlus 7 Pro is the most complete phone that we have ever made. And let's look at this quick recap video. Thank you. What does it take to be truly innovative? It all starts before you wake. Introducing the OnePlus 7 Pro. We set out to create a fully captivating experience with powerful Dolby Atmos sound from top to bottom and an immersive display that redefines the term bezel-less on mobile devices. Couple that with a 90 hertz refresh rate and you can scroll smoothly through your favorite apps. Or play the most intense mobile games available with no compromises. That's because we've put more computing power into this device than ever before. Now you can move seamlessly between apps with software that anticipates your next move. Our adaptive brightness feature gives your eyes the least strenuous experience possible. No matter the shower scene, the OnePlus 7 Pro is up to the task. That's because we've added three rear camera lenses to make sure you're capable of catching every moment. And of course, we didn't forget the selfie camera. Power through your day and night worry-free, because with Warp Charge, you're good to go in 20 minutes. That means your phone is ready before you are. And the camera capabilities don't diminish when the sun goes down. Thanks to our Nightscape feature, you'll be able to take gorgeous photographs no matter the time of day. That's the OnePlus 7 Pro, our most advanced phone ever. At OnePlus, we never stop pursuing the most advanced smartphone technology. We continually look for ways to offer more choices to our consumers in order to satisfy the ever-growing needs of our ever-expanding community. And we are committed. We are committed to providing you with premium products and experiences. And that's why today we are excited. No, scrap that. We are super excited to be able to launch one more device which will help us push this envelope even further. The OnePlus 7. It is the perfect device if you love the design and feel of OnePlus 6T. A OnePlus 7 packs the best technology that we have ever developed. And you could say that this device represents our adventurous spirit. As our mission is always to share the best technology with the world, we would like more of our users to get their hands on our products and experience this technology at all levels. So this is the OnePlus 7. Just listening, just listening to this upbeat music makes me get the chills, and I don't even have my Bullets Wireless 2 on me yet. Strange. Anyway, aside from the gorgeous Mirror Gray variant, we are also introdu introducing a brand new red color variant on OnePlus 7. From the lava red on OnePlus 5T to OnePlus 6 red, red has become our iconic color. And just like the red in our logo, red is the, red is the color of passion, red is the color of, of, of action, and red is the color of energy. And we'd like to continue spreading this passionate spirit that red represents to even more of our users. And hopefully, this color will become favorite for many of you this summer. As one of our carefully crafted devices, OnePlus 7 has also inherited OnePlus performance DNA. It packs Snapdragon 855, it has RAM boost, and it has 20 watts fast charge. 
So whether it's the performance bit, whether it's the app opening or just simply fast charging, you will be a step ahead of others every single time. Now, what about the speakers? Imagine a different scenario. You're sitting at your home on your sofa holding a phone in front of you, blocking your speaker. The sound is muffled because, as we all know, the most comfortable site to hold the phone on is always the one on which the speakers are located. Not a problem anymore because with dual stereo speakers on OnePlus 7, now you can really, but really, Netflix and chill because even if you block one of your speakers, even if the sound is muffled from one of them, you still have one speaker left from which the sound will flow freely. And if that's not good enough for you, well, we packed dual Dolby Atmos inside OnePlus 7. And I could tell you, with that, with that, sound wraps around you perfectly, whether you're listening to music or watching movies. And best of all, you don't have to wiggle anymore around your phone just to find that sweet spot where the sound is completely immersive. Now that sweet spot is always wherever you are. You would think that with a different phone variant, you would get a different primary camera, right? Well, think again, because OnePlus 7 camera packs the same 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor that we packed on OnePlus 7 Pro camera. And we have seen how beautiful photos turned out with that camera. So I will not speak how beautiful photos can be on OnePlus 7. I'll just show them to you. The saturation is just perfect. And the contrasts are absolutely beautiful. So let's do a quick recap. OnePlus 7 packs the latest and most powerful chipset, Snapdragon 855. It also houses 48 megapixel primary sensor IMX586, which will allow you to take the most wonderful photos. And the best of all, with your dual Dolby Atmos speakers, your sweet spot is now wherever you are. So. I hope you love OnePlus 7. I know we do. And now, please welcome back to stage, Carl. Thank you. So how do you guys like the OnePlus 7? Here at OnePlus, we put consumers at the center of everything we do. And there's another company that shares that same philosophy. And perhaps that's why we've been able to have such a fruitful partnership here in India ever since we entered. They played a major role in the success of OnePlus. So before moving on, I would like to invite my friend Manish, Vice President of Amazon India, to share a few thoughts over our announcements tonight. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Good evening, Bangalore. And a very special, special good evening to the entire OnePlus community. We've seen Carl speak about what an awesome year OnePlus has had, especially in India. And as I sat and looked at all the features of the new launch, it truly promises to be another spectacular OnePlus launch. I do want to take this chance to reflect on a journey of five years. If you look at the last five years for OnePlus in India, there have been three things which have been constant. One, an awesome brand called OnePlus. The second, Amazon.in. And third, of course, the OnePlus community. I think the true magic has happened when all three of us have come together. So thank you so much. We do feel proud and happy that we've got a chance to partner a brand like OnePlus. And I personally believe that the reason OnePlus and Amazon work very well together is one single reason. OnePlus is a brand which always puts the customer first. Is that right? And we at Amazon are trying really hard to be India's most customer obsessed company and try and serve every need of every Indian customer. And I think this customer focus is what gets OnePlus and Amazon to work so well together. So thank you for all the support. The last time I was at a launch, we had set some new records. I still remember the OnePlus 6 and the 6T launch. During OnePlus 6, we set a new record in India in terms of the largest number 
of customers who actually opted for a notify me, which just showed the kind of interest people had on the new launch. And it was no surprise that in the last one year, and it continues as we speak, both OnePlus 6 and 60 have turned out to be the best-selling premium smartphones, not only in Amazon.in, but in this country. A partnership which began with OnePlus One is now five years old, and I can say it with confidence that we will see new heights with the OnePlus Seven launch and the Seven Pro launch, which we witnessed some parts of it today. So best of luck, and stay tuned for some very, very exciting news which will come up shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you, Manish, for your partnership. All right. What's left? Well, we launched a lot of uh, awesome products tonight. But what are they going to cost? First off, we got the Bullets Wireless 2. Offering exceptional sound quality, these will retail for $59.90. Next up, the headline of tonight, the OnePlus 7 Pro will be available in the 6 128 gigabyte version for 48 triple nine. The 8 to the 8 256 gig version 52 triple nine. And the top tier 256 gig version with an insane 12 gigs of RAM will retail for 57 triple nine. All right, next, the OnePlus 7. We have the 6 128 gigabyte version available in mirror gray and the 8 256 gig version in mirror gray as well as the new stunning red color. So what is that going to cost? What do you guys think? Thank you. So the Bullets Wireless 2 comes with great audio and fast charging. The OnePlus 7 Pro has the most amazing display and it's our most ambitious product ever. And then we have the OnePlus 7, a truly no compromise device at a great value. The mirror gray OnePlus 7 Pro is available starting the 17th, while the Nebula Blue, the 28th. And they're going to be available across all the regular channels. Amazon India, OnePlus.in, as well as our offline and partner stores. The OnePlus 7 and OnePlus 7 Pro Almond will be available in June. Amazon Prime and OnePlus.in users can buy the OnePlus 7 Pro a day early on the 16th on the, pre on the Prime Early Access and the OnePlus Early Bird Sales, respectively. We'll also be launching the following offers together with our local partners. But what if you don't want to wait that long? What if you want to get it tomorrow? Well, good news. We'll be hosting pop-up events in the following cities. Or you can get the Miraguay OnePlus 7 Pro. In addition, for the first time, we're bringing you a new type of pop-ups. The OnePlus Experience pop-up will not just last a day, but a month. There, you can be a part of a number of workshops on themes like photography, video, gaming, and more. So check it out at the Select City Walk in New Delhi starting this Friday. And finally, we come to the end of this presentation. I'd like to thank everyone who came out tonight and helped us launch the OnePlus 7 series.
thanks to the OnePlus team who poured their heart and souls into making this happen. Thanks to our partners. Thanks to the media. And most importantly, thank you to our community. Thank you and good night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, your kind attention, please. We'd like to request you not to exit from the same uh, entrance.